This week is Suicide Prevention Week. Today, September 10th, is World Suicide Prevention Day. Suicide can originate from things such as mental and mood disorders, depression and anxiety, alcohol or substance use disorders, and dealing with trauma and stress. It can also come with feelings of loneliness and feeling like there is no one there to listen to them. If you or someone you know are struggling with some of these signs or any other signs that could possibly worsen, please reach out to them. Below are some hotlines available that can be used to help. So the advice I would give to students that are struggling is to know your resources and know your community, uh, to communicate with your family, find somebody that you know is there to support you. Um, I would work with the, uh, especially in the school, I'd work with um, uh, the people that are available that are designed to help, like the wellness room. Um, you have social workers on campus, you have administrators and teachers. I think when you find yourself in a difficult position, having somebody that you can rely on to help you is probably the most important starting point and then working with those uh, resources that are available, but most importantly is, is seeking out the help that you need. My advice to anyone struggling with their mental health right now is to know that you're not alone. There are plenty of people on campus who are probably dealing with the exact same thing. So don't be afraid to reach out. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Uh, ASB will be passing out tea candles Thursday after school in honor of Suicide Awareness Month. And September 10th, which is this Friday, you're supposed to light a candle at 8 p.m. to show your support for suicide prevention. 